Okay, welcome back. And what we're going to do today is I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to assist you in learning something new or doing something you haven't done before. In fact, I have never programmed this type of router before. So let's say I wanna to go to eBay, I wanna look up Cisco router, and I decide I wanna buy this one, right? So I'm gonna buy this one because it's just functional. It's the one I need, it's going to work, I think. So I want to look at it. It looks like it's in pretty decent condition and it can handle everything I need for my network at home. I want a little bit more security, a little bit more configuration, and I can do that. So I go ahead and buy this, I get it home, and I'm going to get it all set up. So what you can do, go into ChatGPT. Here we are, I'm using 3.5. And the first thing you want to do is teach it. Again, we're going to continue to teach uh, or set the environment for ChatGPT to help you out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste it here what I was doing earlier to test this out, but I said, I need you to be an expert in Cisco routers and switches. We are going to learn how to set one up step by step, okay? And then I say, if you understand, just respond with, okay, got it. So I hit okay, and look, it tells me, okay, got it. And it's ready to go. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go through this process so you can understand how a little bit more what I type, but I basically just says, now I just bought and I put the whole title of it here and I need to go step by step from unboxing to setting it up to accept my internet connection. But please ask me if I'm ready to move on to each step, okay? And it says, all right, let's begin. And it says, unbox that, right? So unbox it and it asks me right here, are you ready to move on to the next step? And I say, yes. And it says, great, physical setup. I'm gonna regenerate the response because again, it's gonna take me through step two, physical connections. Now, what do you wanna do is establish the physical connection for the router, place the router on a flat surface, mount it a rack, blah, blah, blah. Right, so it's walking me through the steps that I need. And you could take this a bit further. Like I have ChatGPT working on my iPhone. I have a shortcut built using the API and I'm actually able to use Siri to access my ChatGPT uh, to give me the things I need. And it speaks it to me, which is nice. Cause then I can just sit there and go, yes, I can respond to it. So I can actually talk to it. So there are a lot of cool things you can do, but you can see here because I asked it to regenerate the response. It asked me, was this better or worse? Again, confirm, verify, confirm, verify. It's always important to confirm and verify. But again, because a lot of this information is available, a lot of this information is out there, has been out there for a while. It can really help you learn something new, especially getting things going, right? So now it's asking me, am I ready for the next step? So I'm gonna say yes. It says, okay, step three, establish a console connection. So you're gonna set up your computer, you're gonna use PuTTY or Secure CRT, you're gonna get the command line interface, and it's gonna walk you through everything you need to do to configure. Now here's the cool thing. Hopefully it shows me. Again, ChatGPT is kind of weird sometimes, and sometimes it shows me, sometimes it doesn't. But because if I'm connected to the same machine, I can copy and paste a lot of the code or something into uh, what I need to connect to or what I need to do uh, within the system, right? So it's asking me, okay, here's everything you need to set up. So set up your communication. I'm going to say yes. It's all right, great. Step four, basic router configuration. And this is where we're getting to the CLI or the command line interface. And once I get in there, then it's gonna start giving me the commands that I need to do to program uh, that said router, which is nice because again, it's telling you step by step of what you need to do. Now, I'm gonna show you a really cool trick here in a minute uh, because of the fact that it's given me steps here. I'm gonna ask it, can you give me the, the, the code? Can you give me a code box for it? So that way I can uh, copy and paste that very, very easily. Right, so it's going through each of the steps and as you can see, it's telling me each of the pieces that I need to do. And I don't know how many more it's gonna give me because again, you're doing this along with me as we speak, but you can see it's adding everything that you need to do. And you can see right here, it's ready to accept your internet connection. Are you ready to move on to the next step? And I'm gonna say, no, no. Can you give me the above commands in a code block so I can copy and paste them, please. Now, what it's gonna do, of course, here are the commands in a code block format. 
and it says replace desired host name, blah, 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 right? Again, sometimes it gives you in the code block, sometimes it just gives you to it here. Oh, here you go, see, right there. So that's beautiful. It gives you the exact thing you need to copy this and paste it into your uh, CLI tool to be able to get that ready to go. Isn't that cool? So you just hit copy code, paste that into your, into your CLI and you're ready to go. So next step. So I'm gonna tell it, yep, I'm good. So now it's saying verifying connectivity. Now that the router is configured, we'll verify its connectivity to the internet. Enter show IP interface brief, blah, blah, blah. Right, so it's giving you the steps that you need to do to validate that your internet connection is good to go and be able to ping the things that you need to ping to test that your internet connectivity is good. So with this, with ChatGPT, it just walked you through, and by the way, it's giving you the code to be able to do that, uh, which is nice. Uh, to be able to show you what it's going to look like but the biggest piece is making sure uh you you are learning something new or basically having a a an electronic uh book or step-by-step an SOP, Standard Operating Procedure, on setting something up that you haven't set up before. And this happens a lot. When I was in the field, there's times where a piece of equipment was given to me and I had no idea what to do. So at that point, I'm picking up the phone, I'm calling people and they're walking me through things and that just took forever. So with this, you can set it up on your phones, using the API, using shortcuts, or you can just use it on your computer and you're good to go. But right here, it says, otherwise, congratulations on setting up your Cisco router. That easy. So again, this isn't to replace jobs. This is to help you. This is to give you a toolbox, tools to be able to help you do things out in the field when you need them, or be able to walk through somebody through something very easily by copying and pasting it and sending it to them, right? It makes you a more efficient help desk person. It makes you a more efficient engineer. It makes you a more efficient installation, you know, engineer that's out in the field. So hopefully this is giving you an idea of what you can do. I'll find a bit more, but if you have any questions on how to do prompt engineering with different tools, I'll be happy to do those videos as well, all right? So that's the last one I'm gonna do today. Maybe, I may put another one, we'll see. But uh, please enjoy your weekend and I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.